Hi, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to look at persistence of variables, so keeping the score on the lives as we move through levels. And we're also going to look at uh, the creation of the game over screen and how we restart the game. So currently, we have a situation where um, I've finished level one, and I'm just going to be able to move forward into my next level. And I have a score, and I've got two lives left. However, if I move forward onto the exit and I go into the next level, you can see that it resets my lives to three and my score to zero. So what's happening there is because the room is being created again, it's resetting all the variables to the values that we have in the create object for the game. So what I need to do is the create object for the game. So what I need to do is to um, stop um, this happening. And the way I do that is by making the uh, the object persistent okay and it says the instances of this object will persist between rooms so all rooms will have the same series of values so it doesn't reset every single time I move rooms so if I click the persistent box okay and I close this down what I can do now is go on to each of my levels okay and I can remove the game object from this level because I don't need it I can remove it from level two if it's on there, which it is at the top. I don't think it's in level three, so I didn't put it on there, no. But it does need to be on level one. So as soon as the game starts, the first screen you see will be the welcome screen. That's where the um, the variables will be initialized and given their, their value. Um, and those values will be carried through into all the other rooms. So let's try and see if that has worked. So I'm gonna play the game. So I have my, my welcome screen. So I'm gonna press enter to start the game. Okay, let's collect the key and some gems before I go. Let's lose a life, just so as I can check to see that the, the losing a life thing is working as well. So I've got 250 points, I've got two lives left. Let's kill uh, a monster, ooh, a monster. Okay, there we go. So I've got now 550 points, two lives. I'm gonna go to the door and there my lives and my, my score stay the same. Okay, so we've solved the problem of the score and the lives resetting at the start of each room, which is great. So the first thing we're gonna do now is to, uh, to look at the text that's gonna appear on our game over screen. So the first thing we need to do is to actually create the room for our game over. So I'm gonna right click on my rooms. I'm gonna create a new room making sure you set the width and the height. So it's gonna be 1920 by 1080. As I said before, you don't need to use these room dimensions. That's up to you. That's just the room dimensions that I've, I've uh, created. And um, I'm gonna rename the room, obviously. I should have done that at the start, but I can rename it by doing this. And I'm gonna call it RM underscore game over. Okay, brilliant. So let's write some text, or draw some text to this screen then. So I'm gonna go into my game object. So let me close down a few of these uh, things. I don't need them all open. Okay, the welcome as well. Okay, my workspace. So I'm gonna open up my game object and I wanna draw event. And I want it to look pretty much like my welcome screen. So I've got my case statement here for the welcome. So I'm gonna copy this entire statement Okay, down to the break. I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom of my text, and I'm just gonna create an extra line in here, and I'm gonna paste in that case statement again. So this time, rather than a case RM welcome, I want to display, this is what's gonna be displayed when I'm in the room, RM game over. Okay. So I want to set the text to centered and I want to draw the text transferring, uh, transformed color. Same thing again, um, but this time I'm going to, I want to say game over. Okay, so I'm gonna change this text to game over. And I'm gonna change this to um, blue. Shall I change it to red? Yeah, change it to red. So I'm gonna change this to a red font to a red font here. I don't know what this is gonna look like. I'm just uh, making up some colors here and I keep a bit of yellow there. I'm gonna put the last one to red as well. 
and I'm going to just type in there I'm going to get rid of this because I don't want all of this I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say your score is final score is I'm going to put a colon and a space and then I'm going to put after that plus string might have I put that in the right place wouldn't that final score is plus string open a bracket and it's going to be global dot score okay and then I'm going to put another draw text statement and copy that one paste that in draw text this one's going to be at 300 and I'm going to get rid of this that's got an error there that's got an error there because I haven't closed the bracket so you can see I've got one bracket there and one bracket there so that's two brackets open one bracket closed so I've got a problem there so I need to just put another bracket on the end to solve that issue and that should now disappear which it does um, and then my final score is and then I want to get rid of this here and I'm going to put another statement in here I'm just going to put that I'm going to say press enter to restart to try again to try again okay and I'm going to close that speech mark and close the bracket and hopefully there we go all of my uh, my uh, errors have now disappeared uh, just to keep that consistent I'm going to tab that in so as it looks the same uh, and of course I've got uh, my changing my my alignment of my my font back to left and my break statement um, before um, I finish the so, so as that the case statement is finished okay without that break statement it would be in that constant case statement so it's important that you use those break commands okay so let's have a look then at what happens uh, when we press enter while in game because there's an issue around this so let's click the run button so we're going to run the game so when I press enter okay it starts the game that's fine so I can play my game, okay, collect my, my, uh, my gems and do some lives. However, if I press enter whilst I'm in game, it starts the game again, okay, because it's telling the game to restart the level in the code. So what we need, what I mean, let's just demonstrate what I mean by that. What I mean by that is if I look at the step event, whenever I press enter, okay, so it's going to check to see uh, where, uh, when I press enter, and when I do press enter, it's going to start level one. So I, we wrote that statement in the last video just to enable us to test the um, pressing the enter button and that it worked properly. So what we need to do really is to check what room we're in and when we press enter in a certain room to take us to a certain room. Okay, so for example, when we're in the welcome screen and we press enter, we want to go to level one. When we're in the um, the game over screen and we press enter, we want it to take us again to level one. Okay, so it's important that uh, we write a case statement, a switch room statement with case statements to um, identify what happens when enter is pressed in different rooms. So inside this if statement, we're going to select a, um, we're going to put another statement, which is going to be a switch room statement. So we're going to put in here, switch room. switch room 
not with a capital S because it doesn't like capital letters okay and then we come to the next line and then we're going to open up another set of curly brackets and then we're going to do some case statements okay so we can do case so if we are in um, rm underscore welcome okay we want to do the following okay we want to go to room level one and then we want to stop the case statement so break oh. break if we are in case rm underscore level one no if we're in case rm sorry underscore um, game over we want to do the following we want to game underscore restart okay and the game restart restarts the whole game from the start we want to break okay so that's what happens if we press so if we press enter in the welcome room it takes us to level one if we um, we press enter on the game over screen then it will take us uh, it'll restart the game um, there's an error there because I haven't used the open and close brackets okay um, that will uh, start the game for us and I need to finish the switch the um, close the curly brackets for the uh, for the case statement like that okay so I've got one two curly brackets open one two curly brackets closed all right so that then will uh, take us to the right room depending on uh, where we are when we press enter okay the final thing we have to do for this part of the of the tutorial is to um, to check if um, our lives have uh, have reached zero and if they have we need to switch rooms so um, we're going to do another switch room statement so it's going to be switch room okay and we need to check in each room if our lives count is below or zero or below okay so um, we need to do a case statement for each of the rooms so we're going to start the case statement with the switch rooms and we're going to open up a uh, curly bracket and then we're going to start our first case statement so case if we're in room one or level one we can do the following if if the value of global dot lives okay is less than or equal to zero okay we do less than or equal to because if you if you're hit by uh, two monsters at the same time that could potentially take two lives off you and if you did a zero okay it might miss um, the count of zero so it's always better to, to just to be safe than sorry and do less than or equal to zero um, so it's going to do a test to see if our number of lives is less than or equal to zero and if it is less than or equal to zero curly brackets let's just tab across to do the curly brackets no we won't curly brackets um, we are going to room go to underscore go to and we're going to go to the um, rm underscore game over okay so if uh, we're in level one and the global dot lives value is less than or equal to zero we're going to go to the game over room okay so we're going to stop that there and then we're going to put a break command underneath okay now I use the same test for room three or for level two and for level three so I'm going to copy all of that and I'm going to do the following I'm going to do another test another case test there to make sure that if I'm in level two that happens I'm going to go to the same um, same place I'm going to go to the game over room and finally 
in the third room in the third level if my uh, score my my lives are less than or equal to zero it's going to take me to the uh, the game room again uh, the uh, game over room again don't forget I need to close my final um, case statement with a square the curly bracket to um, stop the switch room statement okay so should we give it a go so let's have a look then so we're going to play the game I'm going to press enter to start the game okay so I've got my scoring system working okay I've got my uh, live system working so it's keeping a check now so I've lost a life there okay let's go on to level two okay so that's all working so it's kept my score of lives I've got lives one let's wait for the monster to come down and hit me again and hopefully it takes me to my final score okay my game over and then I'm gonna press enter to try again it takes me back to my um, my game screen my welcome screen so that is uh, all you need to know on how to um, arrive at a game over screen on uh, on lives um, in the next video we'll look at the game win screen um, and there's one collision event that we haven't dealt with yet which is the the hat because at the moment we have no way of testing whether or not um, our um, player character has collected the hat in the third level so in the third level we've got a hat over here so we needed to to, uh, to create a collision event for that um, but we'll deal with that in the next video so in the next video win game uh, windscreen and um, the uh, collision event for the hat. So I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.